Welcome to this prediction video for the last two episodes of The Mandalorian this season. Let's try and figure out what might happen. Spoilers for The Mandalorian Chapter 14 and all the episodes before coming up. There are a few ways that everyone thinks it could go this season and for the most part I agree with most of it, but the show has both surprised us and indulged us this season. So I am going to go full throttle with what I think could happen with the information they have given us so far. Just like the Mandalorian himself, this show has whistling birds and all sorts of utilities to get us all excited. So prediction number one, we are heading to Kamino. Where else would they be taking Grogu? They are taking him back to the Doctor from season one, and he is one of the guys who has the Kamino badge. So I'm guessing wherever that Doctor is or scientist is, it will be at Kamino, and that's where they're going to plan to do their research on Baby Yoda. I think that's where Mando, Boba, Fennec and Mayfield will track Grogu and Gideon to. Just imagine Boba Fett returning to the cloning station where he was born and raised. It could be an interesting reveal for him to make to the team at some point, who maybe ask him how he knows his way around the building so well. Before that, next episode will probably be a space episode where they break Mayfield out of one of those New Republic ships, or who knows, maybe an actual Republic planet. Prediction 2. Who did Baby Yoda reach out to in Chapter 14? We are all expecting a Jedi reveal at the end of the season in some capacity. There again though, why does it only have to be one Jedi? Well, those Dark Troopers look tough, as in the Ring Rays meets the T-800 tough. What if Jedi do emerge to save the day? I would love to see like one Jedi for each Dark Trooper step forth and make short work of them all. We know they'll be back as Moff Gideon makes more of them. These Jedi could then explain to Mando that they were sent by Luke Skywalker himself. They could be a mixture of Jedi that Luke found, who survived Order 66, you know, like in George Lucas's very own ideas for the sequel trilogy. Oh, by the way, if you haven't, you should really check that out, it's really interesting. And uh, there could be some new pad ones in there as well. It would be a real game changer, I know. But this season seems to mirror season one heavily, and that finale included the introduction of merely the word Jedi, which back then we didn't expect. I think as Star Wars fans we have been conditioned not to expect lore to be included, but I think Season 2 has been all about us allowing Star Wars and the fans to embrace every inch of the franchise, to unite the lore and make it less fragmented. No longer is it about prequels, Star Wars by George Lucas in one place and EU stuff or Dark Horse comic stuff in another. Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are finally allowing Star Wars to let go of all that. Well, thank you very much for listening to this video. I hope you liked it and um, I'd love to hear some of your predictions down below in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you like what you hear.